I think creative placemaking is really the idea that when you're making a place that you're you're leveraging the resources of the community and working with artists to create spaces that people feel like they have co-ownership over, that reflect their culture, reflect their ethnicity, reflect really how they identify both as individuals and as members of the community. Uh, creating places where if you decide to, to live there, if you decide to work there, that you can do those things. And we can create more communities like that. The inclusive nature of our streets uh, uh, is important and I think it's a, a key part of, of good placemaking. It's been kind of a bring your city story about the wonderful things happening in your own community kind of event as well as bring your different kinds of ideas and different perspectives together to talk about how those things are presented and manifest differently in different places around the United States. Listening is really a key to coming up with more equitable solutions to these things, finding out how people are moving through space already, what their actual challenges are. When we deal with as I now do national level work, we have to kind of distill data and think about things in a rather abstract sense. It's hard to balance that sort of abstract thinking with actually talking to a real human and finding out what they are struggling with on a day-to-day -day basis and what kind of transportation system they would choose to use if something new was made available versus just looking at the best research and data out there.